Uh, people hate electric cars so much, but I love this one. And I've owned a Tesla Cybertruck, and I've owned an Audi e-tron GT, and although the values plummeted, which I think the values plummeted on this one too, although the values in electric cars plummeted and people despise Elon Musk or Donald Trump or electric car. I'm not getting political in this video, I promise you. No politics. I'm just telling you people hate electric cars or they want to hate electric cars and I hate the depreciation on electric cars. But there's a lot of things changing in the electric car market which I'm going to explain to you in this video. Like revolutionary things. We're talking twice the amount of range because range anxiety is a real thing. Like think about when your cell phone's at 1%, how stressful that is. Imagine when your car is at like 10 miles left. That's happened to me before. I have bricked on the side of a highway. It is scary. Electric cars, the idea of it's cool. Owning one, kind of cool. In the future, going to be a lot better. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. I'm going to update you on some really cool things that are happening in the electric car market. Whether you like them or not, there's some good stuff to know in this video. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's uh, get going. <laughs> So the real Corvettes hate this car. Why? Because it is an electric Corvette, the first ever electric Corvette. It actually is not. The Corvette E-Ray is a hybrid vehicle and it's not even a plug-in hybrid. I don't have to plug in anything. I put in my high octane in the rear and I go. I have an electric motor in the front that drives the front wheels providing 160 horsepower just to the front wheels. These massive brake rotors and massive Brembo calipers. And then in the rear, I have a 495 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 powering the rear wheels, making this an all wheel drive combined car with a combined like 670 horsepower-ish, something like that. First ever electric Corvette and first ever and only all wheel drive Corvette. I love this car so much. It is so fun for me. However, the diehards hate that it is electric. Why is electric so special? I've done videos in the past with like my cyber truck where I drove from the east coast of Florida to the west coast of Florida and after charging it actually cost me more to drive the cyber truck and was way more inconvenient than it would have been to just take my wife's gas guzzling escalate it cost me more and it was more inconvenient with charging times the Corvette e-ray hybrid Hybrid, honestly, is what I always thought was my future. Hybrid, I don't even have to plug this car in. But like that Ford Fusion hybrid driving right there, that is a plug-in hybrid where you plug it in. I just bought a Jeep Wrangler E, whatever they call the electric hybrid Jeep Wrangler. That is a plug-in hybrid. It doesn't make a lot of sense because I can drive 25 miles on the battery and then charge it at my home garage for seven hours and then I get 25 miles the next day. I guess if you're commuting back and forth to work in town, you don't have to use any gas. That's where it's worth it. Hybrid technology, like I never plug this thing in and I'm getting great range. I'm getting great mileage and I don't have to think about charging it. That's kind of neat. Now Tesla, Rivian, my Audi e-tron, those are plug-in solely electric vehicles and you have to think about range, which can get pretty scary. But I'm watching that Fusion right now. They are running on solely electric right now. It is completely silent, completely quiet. But when the battery dies, they run it on gas, which is great, just like the Wrangler that I just bought. Now it is literally 100 degrees in Florida, so if you don't mind, oh, check this starting. I love the way this looks. Now, if you don't mind, I am going to finish the rest of this video in my car because it is literally 94 degrees out right now. Now, let me go through what this video is about and how our future is about to change. Volkswagen just bought a bunch of Rivian tech or the rights to Rivian tech, meaning Volkswagen's EVs, my Audi e-tron GT, is going to be Rivian tech, which is far superior to Volkswagen. It is going to expand from there and then the future of our big brand manufacturers, Volkswagen owns Lamborghini, I think they own Bentley, I think they own Bugatti, like there are so many Volkswagen products that you don't even realize and once they change to Rivian tech, it's going to be a game changer for Volkswagen and all its subsidiaries. Now Tesla has their own tech and they've revolutionized the EV industry. Now, EVs have taken a beating in the public opinion lately. I mean, between the Donald Trump and the Elon Musk feud, and then is it fake? Is it real? The fanatics are frustrated. The normal people are frustrated. Everybody's frustrated and over with electric vehicles. And not to mention like the challenges that come with owning an electric vehicle, like range anxiety and high upfront prices because electric vehicles are more expensive than ICE vehicles, internal combustion engines, and the brutal depreciation that you see me suffer on every single electric vehicle I've ever owned. If you followed my journey, then you know I lost nearly 40 ish thousand dollars on my Audi e-tron GT and then another 20,000 plus dollars on my cyber truck that I only owned for six months. I'm currently driving this 670 horsepower all-wheel drive electric hybrid e-ray and teaser alert. I, I 
already teased it, but I just bought a 2024 Rubicon 4xE. That's what they're called, 4xE hybrid. And interestingly, Jeep plans to go fully electric by 2028 with both pure electric and range extended models in the works. I'm gonna say that again. Jeep Wrangler is planning on going electric by 2028. And yeah, there are frustrations with EVs, but they're undeniably, it's progress. Instant torque, tax credits, free hotel charging, and even with supercars, they're hybrid technology, and you, you can't deny it, it's going to happen, it's already happening. There are some Ferraris out there and other hypercars that are putting out well over a thousand horsepower, insane power. There are some real upsides to hybrid and electric technology. Still, the high cost of lithium and then the environmental impact, the range anxiety, the long charging times, the battery longevity concerns, they can't be ignored. You've seen me go through it firsthand for years. But here's where it gets interesting. Cattle, C-A-T-L, is the world's largest EV battery manufacturer and a true innovator in this space. It is our future. They just announced something that could reshape everything we know about electric vehicles. So there have been some rumors about ultra long range Tesla Model Ys that are launching soon. And for those new to the EVs, again, I've said it a few times, range anxiety and charging logistics can be intimidating, really scary, really, really frustrating. Take it from me firsthand. And even like seasoned Tesla owners would agree, we all just want more range. I don't wanna stop halfway from West Palm Beach, Florida to Tampa to charge with my kids for 45 minutes and then have to charge when I get there. I don't wanna have to tow my boat up to the lake in New Hampshire from my home in New Hampshire when I live there and have to charge halfway when I get there, charge when I get there, then charge halfway home and then charge home. It's annoying. We all just want more range, faster charging and less range loss in extreme temperatures like heat, Florida heat and New Hampshire cold weather, which is so frustrating. When I know my car is at 90% when I go to bed and I wake up, it's at 80% without being driven because it's zero degrees in New Hampshire is really frustrating. And then being in Florida where I just showed you it's 94 degrees, you're losing range because it's hot. All of that is a big deal. Now, I told you about Cattle, C-A-T-L. Their Nextra's new sodium ion battery platform is gonna change everything. Sodium is 421 times more abundant than lithium. So we're talking easier to source and less damage to our planet, which in turn makes it cheaper, more sustainable, safer, and superior thermal stability, like I said, cold and heat. And the real world performance, these batteries can handle negative 40 degrees Celsius and plus 70 degrees Celsius, retaining 90% usable power, even extreme cold, delivering up to 500 kilometers of range, that's 310 miles of range, over 10,000 charging cycles, and integrated real-time BMS. You can monitor from your phone. Now let me break that down for you. I know I use Celsius. It can sustain incredibly low cold and incredibly high heat. Well, a lot of the batteries are more expensive than the car after it's used. You just junk them. It's not worth it. But when you're getting 10,000 charging cycles, it extends the life of the vehicle significantly more. They're also offering a 24 volt version for heavy duty trucks as an abundant, safer alternative to traditional lead acid batteries. Let me explain that to you. I did a video. We know we want to go green. We want to go electric. We know that semi trucks, tow trucks are going to go electric one day. But when range is short, significantly we're talking two-thirds the range towing right now like when I towed with my cyber truck I got literally one-third the range than I did when I was driving. So let's say you get 300 miles of range to the truck. I was getting 100 miles when I towed my boat. You can't sustain that with a heavy truck towing a heavy load. Well, this is a game changer. And it's not just future tech, it's actually happening right now. This sodium ion innovation is central to another major cattle breakthrough. Their Freevoy battery system. This setup blends different battery chemistries like LFP, NMC, and sodium ion, capitalizing on each individual strength, which results up to 930 miles of range on a single charge. That is a game changer. So if we don't like electric vehicles because of range, imagine getting 900 plus miles on a single charge. And even better, waiting to charge, this supports ultra fast 12C charging. That's 300 miles in five minutes. How is this possible? The Freevoy uses dual energy zones. It's a primary zone and an extended range zone. It automatically switches between them in like milliseconds if needed. The brains behind Cattle's Shenseng platform intelligently manages both packs to optimize range and efficiency and battery health. And it does it all without having the driver even having to 
think about it. Owning an electric vehicle, all I do is think about it. I calculate the mileage, I calculate my destination, I calculate charging stations. Imagine not having to do any of that. That's what everybody hates about electric vehicles. This is all points that are like pretty exciting for the electric vehicle future. And it's not just because of the software updates or new vehicle designs, but because the battery needs a breakthrough, which they have done. And there are manufacturers that are already implementing these things. Like industry giants like Tesla rely on cattle to stay ahead. They're constantly revolutionizing the market and this is just one of those ways that, are, that they're doing it. And if those rumors about a longer range Model Y, they have a long range which isn't long. Imagine doubling that range. Could be dropping this year. If those rumors are true, it's likely innovations like cattle, sodium, ion, and free voice systems will be at the heart of it. Now imagine a Model Y with 900 plus miles of range, minimal degradation in any weather, and five minute charging. That is what we were sold on electric vehicles originally. That is what we want. And anybody that wants to hate electric vehicles, if this happens, it is undeniable. You have to appreciate what they've created with this technology. We'll have to wait and see, but what's clear is that cattle is setting the pace. And it's one of the most exciting developments in the EV tech right now. Now, as you can see, I'm embracing electric technology I have in multiple vehicles. And although they had their headaches, there are so many things that I love and you continue to see me shopping for a new electric vehicle in my videos all the time. I'm going to own another electric vehicle and it sounds like cattle's working on saving some of these headaches, some of my biggest problems that I'm constantly showing you guys. Now this brand cattle, CATL, is changing electric vehicles and changing the world market on electric cars. So don't hate just yet. Do not hate on electric vehicles just yet. Give it a little bit more patience, give it a little bit more time. I'm looking forward to seeing what's to come thanks to cattle. These rumors are true. It's gonna be a game changer in the electric vehicle world and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. I love giving you information when I find it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.